guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a new recipe video for you all. And it's been a hot minute since we've been on YouTube. We've probably taken like a week's break. So yeah, I think we just were pretty lazy over Easter. I've obviously been a little bit less motivated. I don't know. I think my whole brain is just taken up with pregnancy stuff at the moment. So we have um, a bump. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like 23 Three. 23 weeks now yeah Getting and I have close. to make I have to make some pregnancy related videos too mm -hmm. because I realize that as much as I can like put it off there's only 16 weeks left so <laughs> gotta do it pretty soon otherwise yeah be too late so anyway today we are making a recipe video so this is for a collagen protein slice and it's really yummy so we wanted to call it bar but we kind of uh, it's probably it's more of a slice. slice because you do have to keep it cool so this is a good snack if you're able to take it to work and keep in the fridge or for sure keep it at home in the fridge although it won't last that long because it's no. really yummy it tastes kind of like shortbread or like cookie dough yeah like cookie dough that's what we were actually thinking of calling it when we were coming up with our recipe name yeah, so you could definitely as well just like stuff this into a jar and eat it with a spoon <laughs> like just cookie dough. Spoon. But it does set nicely into a little slice. So we're going to share that recipe today. It's really good in terms of um, having a good protein boost. Well, I think that's kind of what it's born out of because the past few weeks I've been really like stuck for snacks. Because when I think of a good snack, it needs like some protein mm. and it needs some fat. And a lot of like bliss balls are made with dates or like... They're just like a yeah. carb. They're like glued surge. together with honey and dates, so it's like, yeah, just yeah. carbs. So this is definitely like a keto friendly little fat bomb that's going to keep you going. You could have it first thing in the morning and it's not going to kind of jack up your day. Mm. It's just going to give you that nice stable energy. So it's like throwing a log onto the fire rather than some more kindling. Mm. And yeah, it's really, really yummy. So we're going to make it and it's really, really easy as well. We use macadamia butter and macadamia <laughs> nuts. But you could also use different nuts, so I know people like to use cashews for similar kind of recipes mm. and that's another good one as well that tastes pretty similar, but we just really like our macadamias, so yeah. So let's get into it. Okay, so to make this recipe, all you're going to need is four tablespoons of collagen peptides. We're using the Great Lakes collagen peptides. You also need a quarter cup of macadamia nut butter. So you might be able to find this in your health food store. You'll also need one eighth of a cup of coconut oil, half a cup of fresh macadamia nuts, one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste, and one teaspoon of inulin powder. So inulin is a prebiotic fiber that feeds our healthy gut bacteria. So this is a nice little addition to this snack. You also need one and a half teaspoons of stevia and a pinch of sea salt or Himalayan salt. All right, so we're just gonna pile all of the ingredients into a food processor and blitz that together. And if you can hear in the background, we have a guy trimming hedges hours <laughs> so don't mind that but that's really how easy it is this is just all gonna go in so let's go you want. It's like cookie dough. Cookie dough. So now that everything's all blended up and it's that nice cookie dough texture, we're just going to pop it into a little baking tray. Now it doesn't really matter what size you have. You might have the same kind of little loaf tin as this, or you might have something that's a slightly different shape. But basically we're just going to line it with baking paper and spread this out to set in the fridge. So it should be kind of 
uh, nice and like doughy like this. Basically, you just press it down. It doesn't have to be like liquid or anything. So if it's like this and it's kind of like play-doughy, um, then that is perfect. Because the coconut oil is basically going to set and turn this into a hard slice. So now we have it pretty much even. It's ready to pop into the fridge and this will take about two to three hours um, to set completely. So you want to be able to slice it and pick it up and not crumble or anything like that. So that's when it'll be nice and fully set. So that's all there is to it. My fridge is like really full. <laughs> So our slice should be ready by now. It's been a couple of hours. And you can see it's nice and hard now and it's gonna come out in one brick. So I'm gonna just pop it onto this board. tasting time. So we've had them out and we've been taking photos and everything so they're slightly soft at this point. Um, so you definitely need to keep these cool just because we've got the oil and the macadamia nut butter so it kind of keeps them a little bit soft. Mm. It's just like eating mm. cookie dough. The other thing if you find that you like them a bit sweeter you could add in a little more stevia. Or you could easily turn these into like a fudgy mm. brownie type thing just add in some cacao powder, some chocolate. Oh, well, that is great like this. Mm. This guy's, it definitely tastes like straight up cookie dough, like kind of shortbread vanilla flavor. Um, and it's really good. So this makes altogether four serves with each serve having around six grams of protein. You can easily double or triple a batch um, because these keep for quite a bit of time as well. Mm. So we will have the recipe for this one up on the blog if you want to see the full recipe. So we'll leave a link in the down bar below to check that out. And other than that, we will see you guys in our next video. We're not sure what the next one's gonna be. Actually, no, no, no. We are thinking that it's gonna be the one about scans. Yeah, so if you watched the um, pregnancy announcement video, I did mention that I'm not doing any routine ultrasounds. And I'm gonna kind of explain that and talk about that in a separate video. So I might get around to shooting that one next week. And that will probably be our next video up on this channel. So if you want to subscribe and see future videos like that one, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy recipe videos like this, then leave us a thumbs up. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye guys. <laughs>